Hi everyone, it's May 21, 2018. Arizona started today a four-day exercise planning for 400,000 coming into their state from California due to a catastrophic earthquake in Southern California. All right, I will link below to this article. I will link below to this PDF high-powered High power, extremely low frequencies can cause earthquakes. High power ELF radiation generated by modulated high frequency heating of the ionosphere can cause earthquakes, cyclones, and localized heating. HARP, ultra low frequencies. And I just want to show you what was going on last night so I have shown before the ultra low frequencies being emitted in this area in the Northwest and it is pretty much on a regular basis but the harp rings that I have been seeing these are the ultra low frequencies um, ultra low frequencies Idaho those straight sharp defined lines that fan out but the harp rings are appearing lately. This is the border of Oregon and California. And this was at about 1.30 a.m. last night. So we know that harp can set off earthquakes. We know that ultra low frequencies can set off earthquakes. And when we have these exercises and when you see that these harp rings are appearing rather close to fault lines, well, you get a little concerned. I'm not saying anything will happen. But you guys out in California, well, I'm sure you're all prepared for that mass exodus to Arizona. This is up in Juneau, Alaska, ultra low frequencies. Anything that happens regarding volcanoes, earthquakes, flooding, hurricanes, tornadoes, man can create it all. So. I will link below to these uh, the satellite and radar sites that I go to. And if you're living in California, you might want to just check out what's happening on these sites. Here are the fault lines. So, yeah, when you see harp rings around Eureka, California, and, and also um, this is the National Mosaic and you can see all of the ultra low frequencies being set off in California but last night I've never seen the radar look quite with that long tail in California I've just never seen it like that but I'm just showing you that these ultra low frequencies have been going off and, well, look, you know, that they're using this technology in areas where there are fault lines. Let's just say I wouldn't do it. Um, seems to be rather reckless, careless, incomprehensible, maybe. The frequencies on the East Coast have been really bad and lately I have been experiencing this non-flu flu that I, I can't believe today again I'm feeling a little bit better I just wanted to get this out but man it's coming on me like more and more frequently What is that tail right there? Um, 
but yeah, we, we are absolutely in a frequency war now. It's, it's remarkable that any of us are still standing and still getting through our day. I'm not entirely sure what these frequencies are all about here on the morphed composite, but I'm just throwing this up to document when you have harp rings, when you have ultra low frequencies and these frequencies that you can see. I don't know what's going on, but something's going on and just prepare, prepare, prepare. Um, that's all we can do now. Anyway, hope you're all feeling good and stay safe everybody.